Hey everybody, today we're working on like this 95 Camry and it needs rack boots, rack and pinion boots to pass inspection. All right, well the problem with this car is, is they no longer make the rack boots from the dealer for this car. So you have to buy these rack boots, which I have gotten three different sets. The problem is, is here's the rack boot that came off the car. You can set that there like this. Here's the new rack boot. The new rack boot is that small, and there's no way you can get this stretched over the, the piece in here. Let me show you the piece. I'm doing the driver's side right now. So the rack boot has to slide up over top of this piece here, and then it's clamped on. So since they don't make the right size anymore, and it's very limited room to get in here, what I had to do, I got this side done. Let me show you this side. This is the way it's supposed to look. Rack, new rack boot. And you can see on the inside, I finally got it over top. And what I had to do is I had to use a 39 millimeter socket, stretch it over top of this. And then I've been using a heat gun and heating it. And it must be unplugged. There it goes. And I've been heating this and rotating it. Basically, I was doing like this. Heating and rotating. To get this boot stretched to stay big. Because there is no way I can get that slid over top of where it's supposed to go. And you can even see here, see how, I know it's ripped. See how big this is? See how small that is? It fits super tight. So I just keep rotating this around and heating it up. And then once I get it heated up enough, I let it sit. Yeah, this thing's smoking hot now. And let it cool down. And I'll let it cool down now so I can get that the same size as this one to get it on. All right, everybody, just a real quick one to show you what you have to do to get these, basically a universal boot on the rack and pinion. All right, everybody, thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe, you can always do that in that corner. Please give me a thumbs up if you like my automotive videos. So remember, it's just a 39 millimeter socket I'm using to stretch it out.